Hey man, check out how much I made off my last run. That's a lot of money. Where'd you get all that? It's about 100 G's, right? 100 G's? Yeah, I shook down a couple of elves. Elves like Christmas elves? Yep. Those little guys can't do much. Nah, no, unless Santa Claus comes. <laughs> You gonna rough them up again? Yeah. Good. Santa Claus. Make sure you slash their tires this time. And just throw them. Yup. Hopefully the FBI doesn't come. We ain't got nothing to worry about. Those pigs ain't nothing. Pigs. Mm -hmm. Who's a pig? Uh -huh. Oh. What do you What's want you now, man? What do you want now? What's going on? You harassing me? No. You harassing me? Mm -hmm. What's going on now? Nothing much. Nothing we much. Ain't much. Check on that. Check you ain't checking that. You haven't even showed us out. a badge. You haven't even showed me a badge. Well, How do I know you're not some rival gang? You're FBI, boy. FBI? FBI? Yeah. You, stay, oh. you, stay, you, stay, you stay in that seat right there. Alright. You're not resisting arrest, officer. Oh, I bet you're not. Mm -hmm. What is this? How'd you get this? There's 100 G's in cash. Mm -hmm. This looks Christmas like present. a lot for someone like you. I got it from my granny. Oh, you sure? Oh, well, what's down here? Oh, uh, looks like something down here. You that's, half, that's half a kilo of coke. Oh, I bet it is, boy. Get yourself on this. And boy, you too. You get down there now, too. Mm -hmm. You boys are going down. I want my, I want my lawyer. What you didn't see was that the Christmas carolers were actually dealing drugs and laundering the money through their caroler business. Money laundering is engaging in financial transactions to, con to conceal the identity, source, or destination of illegally gained funds. In addition, the mob boss that was arrested was charged with racketeering, which is obtaining or extorting money illegally or carrying on illegal business activities. If found guilty under the RICO Act, he would be subject to a fine of up to $25,000 per violation or imprisonment of up to 20 years or both. Crooked Ed was arrested due to probable cause because the officer saw the exchange between Crooked Ed and the carolers. Crooked Ed was already wanted by the FBI for other racketeering and drug related charges. The arrest was made without a warrant because there was no time to get one. And Crooked Ed will then be formally charged by a government prosecutor who will issue the criminal complaint. The prosecutor then proves the defendant is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt using the evidence at hand.